welcome back to my channel um, in today's video I am going to tell you about my five favorite lipsticks and I got inspired to do this video because I already did my five or my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes so I thought well let's make it into a series kind of thing so I am continuing um, the video with my top five favorite lipsticks and as you guys probably know I really really love my lipsticks oh my god I probably have so many lipsticks that I would never run out of lipstick for the rest of my life so some people might find it pretty weird but um, I think that's just my collection you know some people collect stamps some people collect like cow uh, statues you know I collect lipsticks so um, yeah out of all my lipsticks it was a very hard to just pick five but I did my best and um, this is my current top five if you ask me in about like two months again it could be changed maybe not you know these are just my current top five lipsticks that I enjoy wearing right now so let's get started so first I want to talk about um, the color that I am wearing right now and that's not included in my top five so it's just like the sixth lipstick okay um, it's the Serenity by Gerard Cosmetics. So I want to start off with this lipstick by MAC and this is Velvet Teddy. Of course I had to include this. This is just a nice basic everyday lipstick that would suit like everyone. If you buy Velvet Teddy it's almost certain that it would look good on you. So this is a perfect nude My Lips But Better color. It looks like serenity almost but a little bit more brownish I guess the formula of this lipstick is a matte and with the matte formulas from MAC I find that they are not like super super matte like liquid lipsticks but they are kind of matte enough they last on me quite a long time and um, I hardly need to touch up uh, Velvet Teddy while I'm wearing it so that's pretty nice. The next one is this one by Gerard Cosmetics and it is the color 1995 and um, I just like this color it's a very nice brownish color perfect for fall and winter and this kind of brings out the green in my eyes so um, that's why I like this lipstick as well let me swatch it next to Velvet Teddy and you can see how much of a darker red brown this is next to Velvet Teddy and basically the formula of the uh, Gerard cosmetic lipsticks not all of them but um, some of them uh, they are quite similar to the MAC matte formula then I have one from the MAC uh, GM Battista Valley collection and um, I actually wanted to take Charlotte with me but I accidentally grabbed Margarita uh, it was dark okay um, well I packed my stuff uh, to film this video so yeah we have to go with Margarita today basically this color is also very nice it's a stunning stunning orange and um, I'm actually scared to swatch this because I haven't used it yet oopsie um, so here we go oh this is a very nice one I need to use this in my next tutorial there you go it's a pretty bright matte orange oh this is such a nice color and, um, this also has the same matte formula as Velvet Teddy. Then I have this Rimmel liquid lipstick. So okay, there were some eyelashes stuck to my lipstick. I, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. So this is the Rimmel Provoca lips in Berry Seductive, and I think this is one of their newest colors. I'm not sure. I got gifted this uh, lipstick by Kim, and um, let me swatch it for you. This is a very nice red and um, I was quite impressed by the staying power of these lipsticks what I like about it is that you get like two sides one is the color and one is a um, transparent layer you apply on top of your lipsticks and this product really makes lipstick very comfortable to wear so um, you know you can walk around blah, 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 with smooth lips all day long so this is what it looks like, it's a pretty bright red color and it has some hints of pink to it and um, I wore this on Instagram on a photo once and everybody was going wild like oh, your lipstick, oh. 
so um, they are pretty nice for the amount of money that you pay for them so I was quite impressed and then my last lipstick I of course had to include an Anastasia Beverly Hills one into it and I am going for the lipstick called Craft and um, this was a limited edition it's not available anymore I think but if you mix um, Pure Hollywood with like American Doll you get close to this color or maybe some darker shade like Sad Girl or something like that or Vintage if you mix it with Pure Hollywood then you kind of can create your own shade that comes close to this one so um, don't worry <laughs> now Craft is hands down one of the most stunning lipsticks that I own and I get a lot of compliments when I wear this. This kind of brings out the green in my eyes uh, once again and it kind of makes my um, skin a bit paler. So it just it's just very flattering on pale skin. And this is what it looks like. You can definitely see that this is a very, 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 very shade. Voila. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just love this lipstick. And it was from a spring collection, but I definitely think it's suitable for fall. And um, hands down that the formula of Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks is one of the best I have tried um, till date. So these are my top 5 current favorite lipsticks. I will link down below where I bought my lipsticks and where you can find them as well. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys very soon in another video. Bye bye!